Meet Diplodocus longus, a whip-tailed giant from the late Jurassic floodplains of North America. Its name means double beam, a nod to the paired chevrons beneath its tail. Our story starts in the Morrison Formation, where the first bones were described in 1878. Though paleontologists argue over some details, Diplodocus clearly represents a family of super-long, super-lightweight sauropods that reshaped ancient riverbanks just by walking through them. Light bones, long frame. Air sacs invaded the vertebrae, making Diplodocus surprisingly lightweight for its size. The neck was built for sweeping arcs rather than vertical giraffe-style browsing, while the tail narrowed into a flexible whip that could have cracked the air. Front teeth were tiny pegs, perfect for raking foliage. Four sturdy, columnar legs handled the load. The forefeet likely bore a single large claw. A low to mid browser, Diplodocus likely stripped soft leaves, horsetails, and ferns near rivers and oxbow lakes, traveling in small groups for safety. Trackways hint that sauropods sometimes move together, and juvenile adult size differences suggest herd structure could change with age. Daily life was energy smart walk, feed, digest, repeat. Stones in the gut, gastroliths, are debated for diplodocusids, but fermentation in a vast digestive system did the heavy lifting. The Morrison world was seasonally dry, with storms that recharged rivers and left flood deposits. Conifers, cycads, ginkgos, ferns, and horsetails formed a patchy green mosaic. Predators like Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus patrolled the edges, while Stegosaurus and Dryosaurus shared plant resources. When water shrank in dry spells, animals converged at remaining pools, crowded, tense, and loud with life. Diplodocus and many Morrison giants faded as environments shifted toward the end of the Jurassic. Not a single disaster, but slow change. Habitats reorganized, food webs rebalanced. Today, Diplodocus bones and world-famous mounts like Dippy, a close relative, D. Carnegie, teach us how to read rocks, compare skeletons, and test bold ideas about size and biology. Every new bone refines the picture.